tropical drinks, sunny beaches, bare feet. Isn't this nice? Hey, what are you doing? What are you talking about? No, it's like super hot out. Wait, wait. Oh, god damn. Welcome back, guys. And even though it's freezing outside, we're gonna make a nice tropical tiki drink. This is the Pearl Diver. So this is a classic 1950s tiki drink created by none other than Don the Beachcomber himself, the father of tiki. And Don was a really mysterious guy, and he loved to keep his recipes secretive by creating these really weird mixes that no one knew, not even his bartenders. So this utilizes one of those, uh, Don's Gardenia mix. So it's um, a mix of butter, yeah, um, allspice liqueur, honey, um, cinnamon syrup, and vanilla syrup. So yeah, it's buttery, it's spicy, it's sweet. So it's gonna start with one ounce of unsalted butter. Make sure it's softened. After that, we're gonna do an ounce of honey syrup. Um, actually, the original recipe called for straight honey, but I figured this would be easier to mix in with the butter. After that, we're gonna do quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. So this is how I make the gardenia mix. It's not the original recipe, but it works fine. And a quarter ounce of vanilla syrup. After that, we're gonna do half an ounce of allspice liqueur. I make my own allspice liqueur. If you click that card, you can go check out that recipe. All right, half ounce of allspice, or pimento dram as it's sometimes called. All right, after that, we're gonna do our best to incorporate the butter in with all those liquids. And obviously I should have picked a bigger bowl and maybe a whisk. And yeah, this is just not working out. So I'm gonna take this off camera and I'm gonna go stick this in the microwave just until everything melts. Okay, let's get to the drink. So we are using two different rums here. We're using Eldorado 12, our Demerara rum, and we're using Bacardi 4 as our Puerto Rican gold rum. Do you have to use these rums? No. Um, a lot of tiki drinks like to specify the exact rum to use. I mean, use whatever rums you have. Yes, it'll change the flavor slightly, but it'll still make a great drink. So start with an ounce and a half of your gold Puerto Rican rum. Or any gold rum, to be honest. After that, we're gonna do one ounce of our Demerara rum. So a nice, rich, dark rum. Any you have would work great here. But this uh, Eldorado 12 is pretty amazing. All right, one ounce of that. After that, we're gonna do some citrus. So we're gonna do three quarter ounce of lime juice. I will say that I tried this drink a few times and tweaked it to my liking. Um, so this is not the original recipe. Quarter ounce of orange juice. And then we're gonna do one ounce of our gardenia mix that we made earlier. As you can see, the butter, the fat is already separating. So give it a good mix to re-emulsify everything. That's what happens when you work with uh, any kind of fat, it does separate. Okay, so one ounce of our gardenia mix. So the, uh, the recipe for the mix will make about two, three drinks. If you wanna do lots of these, just scale it up. Finish off with a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. And there you go. Okay, so this drink is traditionally uh, blended. You can do that, it works great. I don't like dirtying a blender. I don't think this drink needs to be blended. So I'm just going to do some crushed ice, flippy move, and give her a good shake. If your crushed ice is fine enough, I don't think it makes a big difference. But go ahead and blend this if you so desire. Okay, so th we're gonna serve this in a pearl diver glass. Yes, this drink does have its own glass. Um, they're hard to find but if you don't have one, a nice Collins glass or any other tiki glass will work just fine. So just a straight dump into there, and then we're gonna top it off with more crushed ice. These glasses are surprisingly big. They're like, it's like a thin Collins and then it opens up at the end. So it does hold quite a bit of liquid. So we're gonna put quite a lot of 
crushed ice on the top. All right, let's give it a straw. And for garnish, we got a pretty special garnish here. We're gonna do a banana leaf that we're gonna stick in the back of there. This is actually the traditional garnish. Um, I don't recommend it because, I don't know, the banana leaf, while it looks nice, it smelled awful, <laughs> like seaweed. <laughs> so pineapple fronds would work just as well. Um, we're also gonna do dehydrated orange and an edible orchid, which, by the way, that one is not edible, <laughs> but it looks nice. And there you have it, guys. There is the Pearl Diver, um, a classic tiki drink from Don the Beachcomber. This thing is really good. It's citrusy. Um, rum, it's very rum forward with those two strong rums. It's citrusy. It's spicy from the Gardini mix. That butter adds a really nice mouthfeel. It's just a really lovely drink. Uh, try it out. I, you'll love it. All right, guys. That's it for me. We'll see you next time. Cheers.